So I ordered uh, Kessel A360 lights and the mounting arms that come with them, the Kessel A-Series mounting arm kits. Those things are $75 a pop, so about 150 bucks for two. And I quickly realized after getting my tank uh, positioned over the cabinet that there's no way that's gonna work because acrylic aquariums have the bracing on the top and those mounting arms have brackets designed to go over the edge of the glass tank. So I even considered, okay, what if I mount the arms to the wall? Well, then the problem is, is they don't even reach across a wider tank. So when you have a two foot deep tank, the mounting arms won't allow you to center the lights over the top of the tank. So then you can buy a $25 piece of metal to make the mounting arms extend longer so that you can center the light over a deeper tank. So now you're looking at 50 bucks on top of 150 bucks. So $200 to mount lights, especially not a good idea when you can't even see the mounts. I'm going to build a canopy for the aquarium so you don't need, you won't even see the lights, the mount, you won't even see the light mounts. So why would I pay $200 to mount my Kessel lights in a concealed manner inside of a canopy? So I'm going to go to Home Depot and find a better solution for a very small fraction of $200. We'll see what we come up with. Oh, and by the way, um, some of you might be thinking, well, why don't you just mount the lights under your canopy? Well, I just don't want to. I want them to be independent from the canopy. I want to be able to remove the canopy. Or if I have to slide the canopy back or take the canopy off, I don't want to have to worry about disconnecting the lights or anything like that. I also want to have more flexibility so you know if I can I plan on being able to adjust the depth of the lights I may want to move them back I may want to move them forward so anyways I just want to do something independent of the canopy so we'll see all right so I've been walking around Home Depot for a while trying to figure this out and came across these pieces of steel and aluminum tubes and rods and plates and all kinds of things in different sizes and I thought wow let's see this is starting to feel right to me so what I found is a couple of pieces of aluminum one is a is a cube shaped tube I guess they call it a square aluminum tube and then here's a like a uh, u-channel like a what do they call that one channel aluminum trim channel so I take a piece of trim channel slide it inside a cube tube and what do you have an adjustable mount starting to see it come together just a little L bracket to mount it to the wall with and you've got an aluminum adjustable mounting arm and it, you could put a maybe I'll drill a, a hole in here and have like a wing nut so that I can you know tighten this into the position that I want it to be in and then I can just take the light and mount it to the uh, this part all right, we'll see how it goes. It's $36 worth of parts from Home Depot. Got some cube rod, got some channel uh, trim, a couple of L brackets, some machine screws, and some thumb screws. Uh, I also bought these um, drill and tap sets that, so that I can drill a 10, number 10, 24 threading into the cube rod so that I can use the thumb screws to tighten the this piece into that piece <laughs>
up. I just wanted to point out that if you're going to paint aluminum, even if you sand the aluminum, you need to use a metal primer followed by whatever paint you choose. Reason for that is if you try to spray regular enamel spray paint on aluminum, it's just going to start bubbling up on you because the paint won't adhere. And this is what I'm talking about. I thought that if I sanded it and roughed up the surface pretty good with some sandpaper that the paint would adhere, but I came out this morning to see how the paint was looking and this is what you get when you don't use a metal primer on aluminum. So I've got to sand it and prime it with the metal primer and hit it again with the paint. So as you can see, after having primed and painted, this is a much nicer finish.